What do you see as the skills that will be most valuable to leaders for the next era? Well, it starts with being clear around intentions and priorities. To quote you, Kristen, starting with the end in mind. Um, story from Warren Buffett, a leader known for to create success. He talks about doing two lists. He asks people to make a list of 25 priorities and then to pick the top five while avoiding the rest at all cost. And that kind of laser focus focus is what's required. Or his right-hand man, Charlie Munger, who was uh, known for talking about the circle of competence to, once you know your priorities, really be clear around where are your competence and capabilities, and then making choices around what to either learn or to pass on or to outsource. Uh, some data on this front comes from neuroscience about our brain plasticity. The good news is, is that our brains, we now know, are very much able to rewire and learn. And yet some of the challenges of the pace and our overwhelming to-do lists is that we get lured into multitasking. We're not able to multitask. We're not built to what it really is, is task switching. And it costs about 20 minutes to come back and refocus on real priorities. Our brains are drawn by novelty bias and what's essentially a dopamine addiction loop. And so this first pillar around being intentional and focusing on priorities is aligning on vision and direction and the outcomes we really want. And then having the discipline of micro habits with incremental progress and nudges both for ourselves and our teams while we experiment and evaluate how to move towards realizing those priorities and outcomes. It's also about observing patterns and recognizing and shifting in moments that matter. These come with the inevitable changing times that we're living in and trusting our preparation and our support systems, such as the teams we work with. The takeaway for this first one, Kristen, is to identify two or three better behavior choices and to practice these daily, to set reminders in our calendars, as well as anticipate what are the obstacles that are going to get in our way, and then to reward ourselves for incrementally creating that progress towards routines that will become a new set of habits.